good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is bruno fightmaster and we're back with our now champion shush bugs in our pokemon scarlet bug only run so last time we did the thing we beat the elite four barely <laughs> um sigurd man sigurd was putting up some insane numbers and basically led the team for us. Um, Venom did some good work too, basically taking care of the dragon uh, trainer all on his own. So, good on Venom. Uh, but yeah, we defeated the Elite Four, we defeated Nimona, and uh, became best friends with her. Um, now we're rivals for life. That also means that we have our third party member for going down into Area Zero, as Arvin also told us uh, right at the end of last episode. So, we have Area Zero to go to. We have to go help out the professor. So, let's go do the thing. That also means we can finally get the last bug this game has to offer. Because there's only one left. And it lies deep within the depths of Area Zero. So, yeah, we'll go over here to Medali. And let's go to that Area Zero gate. Now, if memory serves, hopefully we'll be able to pretty easily kind of walk through... Uh, Area Zero... I'm not gonna not gonna quote it or anything, but if memory serves, most of the Pokemon down there are gonna be part fighting. And since we have so many um uh, oh, that's a shroomish. Uh since we have so many flying moves for our bugs, um and not to mention that we still have the mighty Sisypha, uh, with all of her psychic nonsense. I think we're in pretty good standing. Uh, speaking of which, Mantis, let's start with you. Let's take out whoever this person is. Isaac. Oh, great. Oh, you're level 30. I don't care. All right, neat. Just a quick little warm-up. That gave us basically nothing as far as experience is concerned. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I should probably put Sigurd up first, since Sigurd is you know, safe still with two lives, but I think we'll be fine. We can do a little bit of training in Area Zero and uh, get everyone else to level up. Hey, over here! There's going to be a lot of talking. I have to switch this voice a lot. Neat. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down to the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that I can finally come back home? Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Ah, yes, the way home. The last, uh, last instance here. Our last quest.
Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hola, Bruno. Arwen said he be there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you can come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running. But now... Oh, there we go. Beep boop. Well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I, I guess? My name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Er, you talk like way too much. The director introduced us, so you need when you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Bruno. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Bruno, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin, and my... Mm. My loves include my babostive and cooking and... Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Bruno. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? Hmm. That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly... Arvin, did you, uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber by using the elevator you can see to your right. Mm -hmm. Um, mom? Please proceed below. Hmm. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. It'll be okay, Pegasus. Your mom loves you. It's a large door. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to the lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Uh, not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Bruno, you have brought Koridon with you. Uh, yeah. Can't leave my side, really. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. 
If you don't utilize Coridon's gliding capabilities, ooh, sorry. If you utilize Coridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. But what? Isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Coridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Hmm. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live in Area Zero. Let's go! That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? I guess we better go too, Bruno boy. Yep. A Bruno boy, ready for the worst? You know it. Good. That's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. What's the matter with him? Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on, Bruno boy! Okay, hey, Arvin is exa insanely strong if he can, like, one arm hold me and then throw me onto the front. Should give Pegasus some more credit. He's been doing a lot of lifting, apparently. Ooh, misty. Foggy. That's not as big of a drop as I expected. And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. You good? You're fine. We're here. Calm down. Oh, you're so calm you're going back to the ball on your own. Okay. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Hmm. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? What? She, she's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing! Come on already! I guess your ability would be on tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs are all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. Mm. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Ah, uh, you were worried about us. That's so sweet. You should now make your way to meet me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance in the lab is barred by four locks, installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. 
At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Indeed it is. And now more dialogue. But first. Because I know it's going to happen. I'm going to have you forget... Air slash for just a moment. Um, because you need to learn a false swipe. Real quickly, get some experience here. I say as I realize... Oh, no, it's uh, grass, so that could work, probably. Well, that's rude, but okay. I'll take the free experience. But now the real question is... Where is our final bug? So this is the inside of... So this feels different from just seeing in our textbooks. and so intense. Normally, we'd never be able to get here to see it for ourselves. Huh? Well, where'd Karaidon go? Seems he got spooked by something. It's hiding in its ball. And Sirio? That's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Ah, uh, should be alright. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They'll always come through if you're a real sob story. Jeez, I need to bite my head off. Why are you getting all huffy anyway? Oh, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. Okay, that's a little faster than I expected. So that might be hard to keep up every single time. Yes, area zero. And hey, come here, duck. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. I wanted to catch you off guard. And I still have Trailblaze. Nice. Okay. Good. We are definitely high enough that this will be fine. We don't need a whole lot of experience, but we can get everyone to 70 before we get down to the bottom. I think we'll be in good standing. Okay, giraffe rig. So, Penny, how'd you come? How'd you wind up becoming friends with Bruno anyway? Well, I guess he just came through when I really needed him. Everything was going off the rails, school was a mess, all my friendships. Bruno was a big help getting all this sorted out. Wow, so you. Uh, up to two and he's talking along the gym. That's awesome. What about you, Nimona? Bruno and I are classmates. Neighbors back home, too. Plus, I said he should aim to be a champion, and he did it. So now I've got a champion, bud. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got a cool friendship origin stories with Bruno? They're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Uh, nobody asks you. Stop trying to flex on us. Haha, <laughs> I guess we're on the Buds with Bruno club. Hey, Chansey, Chansey, no, stay. No! Chansey, no! Ah, boo, Chansey. Here we go. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh, yeah. What were they called? Radish rations? 
research stations. Hmm. Well, I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Oh, it's that Pokemon. Yeah, that's fine. That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Grey Crater. Come on, Bruno. Let's take it on together. Sure. This could be bad, depending on the level. Because it's a rock type. Uh, oh, 62. Yeah, it could be bad. Let's do Trailblaze, see what happens. Or you're just going to take it out in one. That's fine. Thanks, Nimona. I'll take that experience. Easy enough. Are there going to be a lot more of those rare Pokemon down here, you think? Hmm. You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. The door. Some go goats, some Minecraft, a Venomoth. Still not the one I need. Let's do a quick check around here. Okay. No, not really anything that we need, which is fine. No, get away from me, Corviknight. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, Terra Shard. Okay. Well, that's kind of nice that we can get those down here. We still need a whole lot more, and now it's... Now I feel like it'd be wrong to change Sigurd to Steel-type after everything that she did for the team already. Wow. Are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Bruno, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. All right. Push the big red button. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hmm. Books. We've determined that this energy crystallization is linked be to a, the being we call blank. Interlocking hexagonal plates that compromise blank shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I termed terastalizing. Lore. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabapoco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Wonderful. We're out. All right. I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Penny, shush. She was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked, cleaned for myself, my boasted was the only one I had to talk to. Hmm. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I tried to think about, not think about it too much, tried to just be proud she was a famous genius, but truth is, I would rather have had my mom who was there. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless you count seeing her in the news or whatever. Used to at least get emails, but even those stopped. And then she appears out of the blue and tells me to come to Area Zero? Some family, right? Oh, uh, but 
We're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. No, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh... Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lug. That's the spirit, you too. Aw, oh, we're bonding. Getting all the mints. Even though I don't think I really need any of the mints anymore. What I need... Is a new bug Pokemon. Also, it would be nice if I could actually, you know, use Coridon. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see Mom. I got about this far, then attacked by some creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? it wasn't even a Pokemon, more like a crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's, I don't know, a bit more rampaging than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was a completely different creature. And it hurt my boast of real bad, so it's not like I'd forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. Is that strong, huh? Man, I really hope I get to see it. That's what I'd figured you'd say. You're really tactless sometimes, Nimona. You know that? Look, she's trying. But she is kind of battle hungry, so she's living her best life down here. Give her a break. They puff to you, Penny. The the giant, like, hairdo. That's that's Jigglypuff. Oh my gosh, so cute. Until it's not. What the? Ah! Bruno, it's battle time. These are what I wanted to see. Scream tail. Okay, not a great one there. Ooh, psychic fangs, okay. Okay, let's do trailblaze. Probably won't be good for this one either, but. Yeah, it's not great. That's fine. Oh, come on. Weak. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you, uh, you work on that. I'm gonna... Just gonna do this real quick. And uh yeah, now let's get back to it. That's better. One more. Hiya. Goodbye, Screen Tail. I think it's time for Phantom to get some love. We haven't seen Phantom in a while. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? 
that Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet the differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Bruno? Again, they are both correct choices. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex, either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor? Some of the life forms that you are seeing that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here... She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... Uh... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Mm. Now then, Bruno. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Okie dokie. Push the other big red button. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Bruno boy. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like, everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Thanks. Take care of it for me, okay, Bruno boy? Yes, sir, Mr. Pegasus, sir. At last, I can resume work on the Terra Project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals make our experiments much more unstable. The crystals' power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret, but if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we've only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. Hmm. That seems suspicious. And away we go. Okay. Um, let's do Phantom. Phantom gets some exercise. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. 
Oh wait, how did you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. I guess I've looked in, into him for my own reasons too. So the is actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Uh, no, no way. That's not my thing. Though, yeah, I guess you could say my mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over that business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That's some pampered princess stuff right there. Ah, Kalate Pente. Penny, what is your family super normal then? My family is unbelievably annoying. Like super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, it's a real downer for your dad. Having his own daughter describe him like that? Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Bruno, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Yep, got against the amazing looking sandwich she made me too. Really? Wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Priorities, buddy. Priorities. All right, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump at us again, 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a wedding ward. Huh? Oh, hey, it's a great tusk. See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? But it looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Bruno and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Hello, Tusky boy. We meet once again. Also, hello, bottom of the world. Oh, hello, complete bottom of the world. Well made. Oh, wow, both intimidate. That's pretty great. All right. Enough of you. Go away. Almost. Second boy. That's a dog. Goodbye, Great Tusk. Alright. Cool. Another one down. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous? Uh, if we got things from little ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Is Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could you let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Bruno. Let's get into that research station. Getting sick and tired of you dodging me, bug. I know you're down here. And we're to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Oh, no, it, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned the time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? Probably. I don't know. Huh. I think you're onto something. It's kind of giving off ancient vibes. The name sounds pretty past-y. Oh, wait a second. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its form in the first place. You must know something about it, right? 
Uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. At Pokemon Coridon, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Coridon, which I entrusted to Bruno, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by this time machine. Seriously? Thorough analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean there's another one here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be in Area Zero, waiting to finally be re reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. Never mind. You know, my just completely dead face in this. I have no emotion whatsoever. If we could proceed, Bruno, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Yes, ma'am, Professor. Push the big yellow button. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Back to read a book first. Our time machine research has yielded a triumph, a Pokemon from the ancient past. I've named it Coridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune would be to be blessed by this gift as well. Cool. Do a quick rest so Phantom can get health back. No, I don't need another rest. Enemy slide. Enemy slide. All right. Continuing on. It's, uh, yes. So Coridon's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Bruno, you gotta let me battle Coridon right now. Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I'd heard of it coming to the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret. And all I had to do was take care of it for her. So that's why you know so much about it. Yeah, but one day Coridon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearly ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. I guess that makes sense of a Pokemon from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, they'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or Coridon again after that, for ages. Looking back now, it seems stupid, but I felt like I lost my mom because of Coridon. It's the worst feeling ever. I just hated Coridon and everything about it. Didn't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry for cutting you off, because we have another cutscene here. Starting to see some other Pokemon. Some other wild, untamed beasts. Still, I want to get down here. There's a bug down here somewhere. I want it. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down here somewhere waiting for us. Hmm, that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team. Watch yourself and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Right. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. 
Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. Has no one been listening when I've been reading the books? Okay. Keep going. Screamtail. Minecraft. Zoilius. More Screamtail. Listen, Buggy, I know you're down here. Real sick of you dodging me. Listen, just... Oh, hey, Minecraft, you want to back off? So Koraidan came through our, to our age to the time machine. Then it lived here a while with a professor, along with another one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home to us, or some kind of second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it, sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. Uh, it doesn't exactly jive with how it's been acting all spook since we got here. It doesn't seem to come out of its ball anytime soon, either. Really? I thought I was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? Mm. Given how Karadon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere, so I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So, maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like my boast of. We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad. We got to do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly won the battle cried on myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it, not one of us. Nimona, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. Mostly. Okay. Minecraft, back off. Nope, we just want the Terra Blast, and we're going to be on our way. Don't care about any of you that are down here. Okay. We'll get this last research station, and... Might have to go up. Don't really want to go all the way back, but we got to get our bug friend. Got to get the last bug. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Gah, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm s sorry. S I'm s sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children then. Children. 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 Initiating restart. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Button? Button. All locks disabled. Ah, uh, ah... Uh, Ah, hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it was. What do you mean, Arvin? The logs have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. But I got books first. I need more people, more time. That man walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to be trusted? How long would it take them to even understand, if there were only two of me? 
My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We even brought in a second Coridon via the machine, though this one has proved aggressive. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Here we go. We can go up to other zero gates. Time to go for a quick search. We are finding this stupid bug before we go to the end game. We need to have every bug. Give it a moment to let things load in. Okay. Where is this bug? I know you're here. Uh, where are you, bug? I know you're here somewhere. It's the entire point of this area. Back off, Draft Rig. You're not the one I'm after. The biggest problem with this is just that I can't ride Coridon. So I have to walk, and it is such a long walk. No, Corviknight? No. No, 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 no. Back off. I don't have another hour to devote to just fighting you. Where are you, bug? Know you're here somewhere. One more chance to have him pop up. No. Okay, fine. Curse you, bug. We'll see it. We'll see that final bug. If we do see it, we can catch it. We're getting them. Anyway, let's continue. There's definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. Say, so I'm pretty sure that call was really... Never mind, it's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kinda down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you just counting on you to see this through, Bruno. Okie dokie. I can probably manage that. Sisva, it's time for you to lead the charge. Um, yeah, that's fine. Lots of Glamora down here. Anyway. Into this final part, I hope. It is. It's definitely the final part. Don't let me fool you. I have done this before. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? 
but wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It's the same kind of energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something more important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the Gate 20 Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. That sounds problematic. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Bruno here. Doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Oh, well, that puts all my worries to rest. All right. Last call? No? Fine. Curse you, bug. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Koridon help? Hmm. Yeah, if Koridon were like we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it in battle. Uh, but it hasn't wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herbomystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring out of its ball now, maybe we'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Mm, I don't know. Go on, Bruno. Let Crydon out. Alright. See what happens. Hi, buddy. You okay? Alright. Come on, Bruno boy. Now that we've got Crydon ready, it's time to open that gate. Press the big red button. Again. Ooh, right on the second. Big, mean, scary Coridon. A family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. Uh, no, something's not right. Rivals. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you choking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Karaidon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back in your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, you want to. Uh, sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon that Professor warned us to watch out for? 
Uh, but didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... Yeah, from the one we just opened. Other Pokemon! What the? More fighting. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me, they're all ancient Pokemon? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Bruno. Let's do this together. All right, who's first? Great Tusk. Excellent. Uh, you're fighting type, yes? So, excellent. Sorry, Nimona. Let me show you how this is really done. Thank you. That's how we do. Good. Venom got a level up. Everyone's getting almost to 70. I don't think we'll make it to 70, but we're close. Wow, they're really strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. Uh, I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Uh, why are they coming at me? Bruno, help me out here. I uh, went in the mona there for a little bit. Sorry. And who are you? Brute Bonnet. All right. Well, start with the old standard. Good night, Umbreon. And, oh, doesn't affect. So, grass dark, maybe? Yep, definitely dark. Oh, and you have Sucker Punch. Not great. But it's all right, because I can one-shot you. That's fine. Ah, the ancient past must have been terrifying. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're going to have a gigantic mess on our hands. We got to go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait! <laughs> uh, hold on, Nimona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong-looking one first. Yeah, let's take out this fairy. Do you heal me every time? I think you do. Yes, you do. Nice. Okay. Don't have anything in particular that's good against it, so we'll just do psychic. That is quite a moveset. Okay, solid hit. Good. See? The power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face the other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostov can handle them. So, Bruno boy, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Glad to see you got some faith in us at last. Mabostov can't wait to battle either. Horizon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. 
But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them. And you've got us too, so... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. Thanks, Arvin. Yes, you held everyone. Alright, cool. It's time to go into the lab. And to finally meet... Professor Sada. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Yep. And this is where Pokemon took a turn I was not expecting when I first played this. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Bruno. Thank you for coming. Oh, look, it's the other Coridon. No, back in your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid there's something that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor Sada passed away during the incident that destroyed Research Station Number 4. Yes. Pokemon was not a coward in this game. They hit you with a heavy story, and it's very good. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original Professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Bruno, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Uh, yep. They killed off the professor, everyone. It is very sad. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Bruno, it is a truly, ooh, it's truly a great relief. It truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present but the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The Time Machine is a device that the original Professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline 
to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Yeah, what happened to the professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this, may, this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. It's a very easy way of saying she died. And now, I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What do you want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Bruno, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. Okay, because you're not going to let me say no. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. All kinds of crystally. Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial puff phenomenon. Neat. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal, here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. No time like the present. ID confirmed. Professor Sada, initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown overridden. Be initializing. It's up to you now, Bruno. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please, defeat me. At last. 
last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. This fight is cool as hell. AI Sada has initiated a battle. Just drop it off. All of them are Master Balls, too. There it is! The bug that I've been wanting! And I can't get it. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Do you imagine you can best beat the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Just as calculated, a critical hit to your Pokemon. It is time you simply gave up, child. That is such a shame. We got so close. So this is the power the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? Mmm, that hurts. Uh, yeah, Phantom. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do some setup. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, do I have, oh, I don't have any type of defense. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just do Quiver Dance, maybe two more times. And hopefully I will just be high enough that I can sweep. Alright, Phantom. Let's see what you got. Nice. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon weakness? I have a guess. I knew it was a bug. Uh, Fluttermane. That's fine. I don't know if I actually have anything for Fluttermane with Phantom, but I've already set up, so. Yeah, I don't exactly have anything, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's use Ice Beam. Okay. Oh, froze. Perfect. In that case, oh. Oh, eh. Yeah, I gotta heal. Yeah, just get rid of it. Okay. Sandy Shocks. You are... No, we're going to go for it and see what happens. The Magneton. That looks real stupid. Okay. Sandy Shocks, I think you're ground. Oh, good. All right, cool. Uh, Scream Tail. Okay. Um, that's fine. I have a vague idea of what you have. Do I have anything for you? I don't. 
that's fine. Let's just go ahead and heal. Because you were using Psychic earlier. So, hopefully that means you're not going to have anything. Uh, that's not great, but we can manage. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Just use another health item. Don't freeze. Good. Now you get the crit. What? Some sort of error has occurred here. Recalculating for critical damage. Got two more left, Sada. Brute Bonnet. Okay. Nope. Because you are grass dark, so I think, uh, I think Bug Buzz should do just fine. Yeah, Bug Buzz will do just fine. That's not great, but... There we go. Roaring Moon. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Ah, yes, the Salamence. Okay. Attack was heightened. Okay. I'm going to try to heal first. Just in case. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, darn. Man. All right. All right, Venom. It's time for you to do some work. You have a whole lot of attack. I'm counting on you. Also, you have two lives left, so. Cute. There we go. Goodbye, Roaring Moon. And with that, everyone, we have succeeded. We have four remaining members of the Bug Squad. Impossible. But we have done it. There's still more to go, so stay tuned. But we have done it. Bruno boy. What is this? Did you already beat up all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone for so long, Arvid. Mom? Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. 
What? What's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? Was keeping the time machine really truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI Sada disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by Sada. Sorry. You are challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Against Coridon. Go, Sisypha. Nope. I'm aware. It's true. Our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Because we have a Pokemon with Sada's ID. When Coridon got its groove back. So one more quick uh, set piece fight. The Coridon standoff. Guardian of Paradise. Um. Yeah, let's do Collision Course, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It changed with battle form. Let's go, Koraidon. You got this. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Yeah, that's rude. Can you not do that? No, I'm going to do it back and it's going to be just as ineffective. So that's fine. Uh, let's go collision course again. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. You have different moves, and I don't like it. Uh, this looks like it could be bad. I uh, hang in there, Bruno. The data says I am superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream will be built. Oh, that's not good. But thank you, Coridon, for toughing it out so I wouldn't feel sad. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Good. Uh, I do definitely need to heal you, though. 
don't know if it's actually... Like, I don't know if you can actually lose this fight or not, but... I'm not gonna chance it. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Bruno, your Terra Orb's glowing. Bruno, Coridon, Terrastalize, and finish this off. Never mind. You can definitely just... You can't lose this fight. It is four attacks. Then you Terrastalize and use Terra Blast. And I'm assuming you win. Pretty much. And one more for good measure. Show him you won't be pushed around. Time to rastalize and get in some super effective hits. Penny, I've already done this. Alright. Finish it off, buddy. And that, everyone, was Pokemon Scarlet. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. You did it! it it's not going berserk anymore? How... How very astounding to think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final predictions. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in, and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever path you choose for yourself now, with pride. I thank you, Bruno. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you and all of your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way that you came together working in a league with your fellows and caring for them. The way you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into battles. The way you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure, above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop. I am inextricably cre connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not go I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart raced with a thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You... you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No. I suppose you're right. I am sorry. 
Arvin, Coridon, Bruno. It is a little sad, but I am afraid this is goodbye. Mom! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Again, Pokemon didn't hold back. They weren't cowards. Good for them. Mechanics aside, the best story that Pokemon, I think, has ever had. Save from the original, of course. Because it's never going to beat the first one that you do. Ever. For those of you who like Pokemon, anyway. How... How could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah. Somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Hmm. Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. That's... That's okay. I guess Koraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly wild ball that's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Bruno and Karaidon just saved all of Paldea. That's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Bruno. Yeah, that's my Bruno bud for you. You know, Arvin, uh, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Penny. Yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Bruno? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Okay, everyone, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home. It's going to get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... It sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Bruno boy, not you too. Yeah, get him, Toothless. Oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. And that, everyone, is Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, we're going to quickly end this before we get DMCA'd because this is, you know, Ed Sheeran. Thank you to Pokemon. Thank you to uh, the Pokemon Company for making this fantastic game. Thank you to Nintendo for publishing it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this run-through uh, with Bug Only. Um, it's been pretty fun. It was tough. And we almost got to the end. We almost got there with everybody. I'm so sad. But, you know, we got there. Uh, Mantis, Sigurd, Venom, and Arya 
are true bugs. Phantom and Sisypha, you're right there behind us. Um, Big, Vaughn, and Spike still in our reserves if needed. But we made it. Anyway, I'll... We'll be back next time. Um, Not sure with what. Haven't decided if it's going to be another RPG or if it's going to be a roguelike, since those are my two big ones. We'll see what happens. If you want to suggest something, let me know. Uh, There is my Twitter there in the About Me that you can find. You can go comment on any one of the VODs or any of the videos on the YouTube. Link also in the About section. Um, Yeah, let me know what you think. Until then, friends, we will see you next time here on the channel. Bye-bye.